What's up guys, this is Lifehax and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make your own logo for your YouTube channel, okay? So let's get it started. So first thing is that you need to have a Photoshop, okay? So I'm using the PS or CS6, okay? So you guys can do with the any uh, version of the late version of the first of as well, okay? So if you guys don't have the Photoshop, then I recommend you guys to use this tutorial over here. So just search uh, how to edit photos photo without photoshop okay so just search how to edit photo without photoshop on your youtube search then go to the first result that's that will be on my channel as well you guys can check it out all the link will be also in my description down below so let's get started in this video tutorial okay so yeah the first thing is that you need to have a photoshop of course and then you need to search for your um, image so i have used this picture okay it's called the um green dark green bronze texture so you guys can find many color of the uh, texture packs okay so you guys can um, uh, you guys can find your own and you guys can uh, download your uh, your suit head, okay so I have downloaded this one okay so just go ahead and view images and right click and save it as your image okay just just do like that and just go to the Photoshop and now you want to create a file and go to new and make sure the width is 800 and the height is also the 800 and the name as the logo and press an ok okay so uh, you need to have the, this uh, white background as well so you you need to work with the layer on a photoshop right so just create a new layer and on over here uh, we want to drag your photo okay so to do that just file open and then just choose your photo where you have saved your uh, downloaded photo okay just uh, choose that photo and open it just like that and now you want to copy here control A and control C to copy and go to the logo over here and control V to paste and as you guys can see that there has been like a border cross you know like white and white over here and to get rid of this you need to uh, use a transform okay so to do that you need to press is control T okay so you guys can transform right now so just drag it like that uh, or just you guys can also do like that okay so in into the best of your need okay you need to do this just like that okay this one seems to fun for me once you're done just press and enter okay so create the next layer and now I'll be using the uh, Eclipse tool okay for this tutorial you guys can use the uh, polygonal tool or Eclipse tool so um, yeah I'm gonna be using the Eclipse tool right now and I wanna make a circle okay so this is a circle and as you guys can see that I have the uh, like a, you know a weird kind of thing so we you wanna transparent this okay okay this this guy should be transparent so go to feel and click on the uh, transparent over here okay you guys are done so um, now what you need to do is you want to center this okay so just you can move it around or play it around just center it out okay so it's been it seems to be centered right now so uh, now what you want to do is uh, if you guys are not satisfied uh, with the, your sides then you guys can also transform this circle okay so just control T and you guys can transform as well but make sure that you have choose this safe gate okay, just like that okay it's been on the center right now let's say that okay after this um, you need to choose your text okay so to just create a new layer here and choose the text and I recommend you guys use the American Captain font. Okay, the, the the font download link will be in my description down below. You guys can download it and use it as well. So as my channel, as you guys can see that is from the Jorianic. So I'll be using the uh, this name or just like the X as well. So I think the X will be better for this. It depends on you. Okay. So now you want to place this um, font. On the center of the uh, circle okay or you guys can even increase okay just increase um, from here from here okay so you guys can increase up to 600 even let's say that you want to increase up to 600 or I'll just increase through here okay so uh, I'm just using for this tutorial as the 500 okay so I'm done with the 500 
right now or you guys can also use the transformation so just press on control and you guys can just slightly do like that it's very easy you know all right so as you guys can see that it's going on fine so um, next thing is that um, if you guys want to color this uh, your your text, then you guys can color it. Just select that and select your favorite color. Okay, just like that. You guys can play around with the color, and if you, if this uh, suit for you, then you guys can uh, use this color. Okay, so I'm just using the white for this right now. I'm pressing on OK. So this color is on a white. So uh, now the next thing is that I want to give a color to this uh, circle as well. So you choose your eclipse over here. And select the eclipse and and now you want to choose your color so as you guys can see that my color is blue right now so I'm gonna I'm gonna be giving this as a green because my background is green right now as you guys can see so it's very plenty is it you know okay so once you are done then you need to uh, also blend this tool once you are done you need to also blend this area okay so just to, to blend this you need to right click and go to blending option and select all this, okay? The blend, a uh, B level emboss, and drop shadow. And go to shadow. I just give this like that. As you guys can see, that this effect is going crazy like right now. You guys can even give it size if you want. So I have given the distance as a 31, and spread as a 21, and the size as a 32. Or you guys can even increase that, like that, okay? If you guys even you guys can even stroke this even okay so if you guys want to struggle you guys can use that or not uh, just don't choose that and press on okay so uh, let's try to do blending on the text as well so right click and blending choose the B level same as the uh, other thing and drop shadow and increase or play with these tools okay once you are happy with that, you can, you guys can do it. It's okay. Or if you guys want to have the same effect over here on a circle, then just right click and copy layer style and go to your text and right click and paste the layer style. As you guys can see, so it's on, on the same amount of the all the uh, blending effects. Okay. So once you are happy with this uh, effect, then uh, let's go ahead and add this photo as well. So I recommend you guys to edit this photo even if it's not edited, okay? So just go to image and and go to adjustment and then go to the hue or saturation. So from here you wanna choose your color as anything. It might be uh it might be a purple stick or it might be a blue. So in this case I'll be using the red. Alright, so, so this will be fine. Or if you guys can use the um, saturation more, then you guys can use like that as well. So as you guys can see that how cool this logo is looking right now. So this is how you make your logo, okay? You guys can play around, hit this. And now just go to MS, out of contrast. If you guys are not satisfied, then you guys can control J. Just go backward. Or out of color okay now you guys can see that it's the the logo is ready right now so um, the thing is that uh, once you are done with the logo then I recommend highly recommend you guys to save um, save this thing okay on the PSD make sure that you have to the PSD because you you're, you're gonna be needing this on later because you want to moderate this logo uh, as you want okay as you customize okay so just save this logo as a PSD first and after that go ahead and save as a um, PNG okay okay this is a PNG and the logo and save it and you guys are done okay so as you guys can see that this is the logo that we have outputted So this is how you make your logo for your YouTube channel, okay? So in the next video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a banner as well. And after that, I'll be showing you guys all the things that you need to upload and do whatever you need to do, okay? So uh, bye for now. And if you guys love this video, leave a like and subscribe down below for more upload, okay? So uh, bye for now. Peace out, guys. It will create your problem. 
and it will generate the copyright strike never re-upload anyone uh, else video on your channel okay because it might get you in trouble like getting a copyright strike and if you get more more than three copies